Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and today I want to talk about the five signs that you may have a pinched nerve in your low back. Now, this is a very common problem that many people get, and I get this question all the time about what it is, what causes it, and um, you know if they should be worried about it or not. So I thought what we would do today is just talk a little bit about the fact that this is an educational video. This is just to help bring some awareness so that you have an understanding of what a pinched nerve is in the low back. Uh, and and, and maybe it'll give you some better questions to ask your provider um, if you do have some of these symptoms. So before we get started with the, the five signs and symptoms, I thought we would start to talk about the normal anatomy of the back. And just to get you oriented, this is a uh, piece of spine from the low back, okay? And this is the vertebrae right here, as you can see. And then in between each vertebrae is a disc. Now that disc is a jelly-like substance on the inside and nice rings on the outside. And just behind that, if we tilt it this way, you'll notice that this is the spinal cord going down this canal, all right? So this is the back, this is the front, and off of the spinal cord are these little nerves that come off of each side. They help to control different parts of your leg uh, and different parts of your hip. So uh, you can see where this nerve comes out through this nice large hole right here. Okay, that's called the vertebral foramen. And this is called the nerve root deep inside here. And this is where that nerve comes out. Now, are, there are three different ways that nerve can get pinched in there. And the most common is a herniated disc. Okay, so here is the disc again. And this is the inner part of the disc. And you can see where it's starting to push out toward the back here a little bit. And then if we were to take a side view right here, you can see that there's a little disc material that's a herniated disc where that material is leaving the disc itself, going into this canal and filling up this hole. So you can see where the nerve here would be getting quote unquote pinched in that area okay so there is something taking up space in that hole where that nerve is coming out now that is one reason why you can have a pinched nerve in your back the next one could be if we take a look at this one here not only is there a herniated disc but you can see where the joint is over here and that joint can develop a bone spur right on the back side, as you can see right here. And that spur can work its way into that hole where that nerve is and cause it some irritation. Now, the other thing that can cause irritation is simply swelling inside of there. So fluid builds up in there and it can compress that nerve and cause some irritation to that nerve. Now, most people who have a pinched nerve in the back do not actually have back pain. Okay, the symptoms usually go down the leg. Now, the other thing that is important to remember about a pinched nerve in the back is that it usually follows some sort of a pattern. It goes down the outside of the leg, maybe down the buttocks. It could come right over the front of your thigh. It can migrate all the way down the outside of your leg, the front of your leg, the inside of your, um, your calf area. It can go right down to your toes, but it usually follows some sort of a pattern. So if you have pain throughout the whole leg and you cannot disseminate a certain, um, you know, basically a path of where it goes, um, then you need to be a little more concerned that it could be something else and not just a pinched nerve in your back. So what are the five most common signs and symptoms? Well, when this nerve gets pinched uh, and compressed over here, what will happen is you can start to develop some tingling down your leg, okay? The next thing that you'll notice is you'll have some pain going down your leg. Some people will have back pain, but most will not. This is going to be more of a problem where the pain goes down the leg. Now, you could also have numbness. Now, what's the difference between tingling and numbness? Tingling is that fuzzy sensation that you feel almost like your leg is falling asleep and it's a little tingly in there. Um, and that is more of a, a, a tingling sensation. Now, if you have numbness, numbness is when you touch part of your leg and you cannot feel it at all, okay? Like your big toe is completely numb, you touch it, you don't even know that you're touching it, 
that is true numbness. Okay. Um, the other thing that you'll notice if you have a pinched nerve in your back is you could develop some loss of motion, maybe some inability to pull your foot up or to pull your big toe up. Some people can't stand on their tiptoes um, and you may lose that mobility. And then the biggest red flag when you have a nerve root compression or a pinched nerve in your back is weakness. Okay. So if you develop weakness in a certain muscle group uh, in your leg, down into your foot, your ankle, um, that is more concerning and that's when you probably should talk to your primary care provider about having an evaluation to check this out to see if uh, there is actually a pinched nerve in the back. Now, if you have this weakness that goes on for a long time, you could actually damage that nerve. Um, so it's important that you have it addressed quickly. Um, you know, test out a few things, you know, can you, can you pick your foot up and can you walk on your heel? Um, and if you can't and your foot slaps on one side a lot, that's concerning to one level. Okay. If you can't walk on your tiptoes and one leg is giving and the heel is dropping, that's another issue. You might be, um, you know, walking downstairs and you feel like your knee buckles or gives out a little bit. That's another sign that you could have a pinched nerve in your knee uh, or in your back. So, um, it's a, it's something that you should really pay attention to. Not everybody who has a pinched nerve needs to have surgery. Um, actually, there are many ways to treat this. You can treat this in physical therapy. You could receive injections if there is just swelling in there. Uh, and sometimes if it is too bad, you might need to, uh, you might require surgery. Um, Fortunately, surgery to the low back is not as aggressive uh, as it used to be in the past. So, um, you know, it, it's something that uh, we see quite often, but you should always try to treat it conservatively and make sure that you meet with your primary care provider. Um, if you have any of these uh, five symptoms or signs that you have a pinched nerve in your low back, um, really hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you had a little more clarity on what this pinched nerve in your back is. Um, and uh, if you really enjoyed our video, give us a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.